than that. Roma versus Cremonese, and Cremonese got off to a flying start with a couple of goals, which would have uh, pepped up their confidence. Uh, Mina, Roma are minus 435, which tells you it's a home win, but it's then we've got to like duck and dive and find out how we can get the goals or get the uh, get the money. The draw is at plus 550. Again, I think that is going to be redundant. Team totals, Roma to score three is at plus 120. Try and break this down for me and find the value. This is this is a, an interesting matchup because I still don't really know what to think of Crim and Easy. Uh, scoring twice last week was pretty impressive. Um, obviously, giving up four goals, that's that's pretty weak. Um, but I still don't know what to think of this Roma side. Last week, the line was minus one, and it just didn't feel right. Um, they scored early in the game and ended 1-0. So I guess we were right about it not feeling right. Um, and Flash, you ended up hitting it on the head with the halftime full-time. Um, but this line at minus one and a half at minus one thirty five feels right. I, I this should be a two nil, three nil win for Roma. I don't really. Ex- I get, Mina's going to disagree with this. Not um, only is she disagreeing, she's just like near. She's like ripping the she, telly apart. She's like going bonkers. <laughs> so it will. We will see how Criminizi comes out in this game um, on the road. But I, I, again, I don't really know what to expect in this game. Um, as for corners in this game, um, the numbers on this were really interesting because I believe the line was only minus one and a half for Roma. They actually hit that in their last seven home games last year. Um, not very good numbers on the road for their corners. Um, they did, I think, lose by four or five corners against Salernitana last week. But at home, completely different numbers. And Criminese getting out cornered by seven or eight against Fiorentina last week. So I think that is a very good number on the corner. Minus three and a half, isn't it? The Roma corners. Um, I have it pulled up here. Let's see what Please. it's at. You have a little look and I'll get uh, Mina to talk to me through Roma because Roma's first home game yep. of the Minus season. Minus three and a half. Going to be absolutely buzzing. Um, again, it's got Mourinho factor, Dybala, the golden child. They're really... Turn- Tammy Abraham, Pellegrini. They have five or six different runners getting into the opposition's box. Mina, this is a side that I think can, at the moment, they're thinking we could actually challenge for the title. They can think that, but they won't do it because okay. they're all they're a team of, of nearly there, but never there. That's the issue. I mean, let's be honest. Dybala has been hailed as one of the greatest technical players, and he is. He's a great technical player. How many times does he really make the difference in the end? Um, it he is somebody who misses chances. And Zaniolo is one that was really exciting with his dribbles, sometimes makes bad decisions and a little bit selfish, but again, couldn't finish, you know. Tammy Abraham is not up to scratch at the moment. And you could see you could see the way that he played there, and I'm not that sure. Pellegrini is inconsistent. So my issue with all of this is I think that they can create a lot. I think they can dominate possession. I think they're easy on the eye. I don't know whether or not right now they're a team that I trust to score goals. Now, with Cremonese, what I think is interesting is that Fiorentina are obviously under the tutelage of Vincenzo Italiano. He loves all-out attacks, but his, he takes a lot of defensive risks, which is why I think Cremonese scored two goals. And really, honestly speaking, the fact of the matter is, is if their goalkeeper, Radu, who made the mistake for Inter that lost them the Scudetto, made another ridiculous howler that saw Fiorentina win the match. So at the end of the day, he's a goalkeeper I don't trust either. So that's the one thing that makes me think maybe Roma can get more than one goal. I still see this being a 1-0 because I don't trust their attack is clinical enough. And that's the only thing that worries me about them. I think they're all players that are very good on the ball, but aren't fearless when it comes to just doing everything to get that goal. And so I, I look at them and I think of them as being a little bit like Napoli, but without Osman. Does that make sense from last? Yeah, totally. No, it does. It totally, I, I thought they had good movement. Um, there was a couple of things I was going to ask, and it's Cremonese. Do they score? Because if they do, it's plus 100. Yeah, I was looking but... at that too. But I've gone with a minus three and a half corners for Roma because of the feel-good factor, the hype and yeah, everything else. Okay, it's well. going to push them forward during the games. And if it is only one, then Roma have got to keep going. Um, and, and also, I think with Roma, they play that 4-5-1, 4-3-3. Yeah. 
Five four one. Um, I just think it's all about three points for Mourinho and um, the field. Was, he's happy to bring on all his defensive midfielders to secure the, the a one nil. He's happy yeah. to do. He's not embarrassed to do that. And that's what I actually really respect about him is that he's very much about the three points. So I think that if they get a goal, he is happy to take them all off and sh- shove in as many Matic and, and as much as Chris, like all he can in midfield to secure it. And like that's but, what makes me think it could be a one nil. But they've also got the pers- uh, personnel to score five, um, they do. They and, do. and and then and obviously if there's a feel good factor in in Rome, then he's going to milk it. He's going to absolutely milk it. And if Cremonese jack it in because it's different uh, animal playing up against Fiorentina, and then you go to uh, to Rome. And by the way, how unlucky are they? Get promoted first two games away from home. Uh, Mina, why why is the main reason behind them having two away games on the trot? Usually it's because they're doing something to their stadium at this point and they need to get it up to scratch in order to play the Serie A games. Sometimes it just is, you know, your luck of the draw, but it works out for you in other ways. Like, but to be honest with you, Cremonese have a really horrible start to the Serie A season. And yet I was really impressed with them against Fiorentina. Again, I don't know whether it's naivety or not, but they are a side that are willing to go for it. And that's what I think makes Serie A so exciting because all these newly promoted sides, you think to yourself, oh, it's Lecce, oh, it's... But actually, they don't believe that about themselves. They believe they have an opportunity to make a difference. And I'm dying to see what he can do against Roma. Yeah, maybe Roma half-time, full-time as well. I fancy Roma start right Monday uh, for this game. Let's have a little look at the official picks because I think I'm on my own here, even though... We, uh, we do fancy Roma, and it's Roma minus three and a half corners at minus 125, and that's all backed up with the possession, with the feel good, with the energy, with the starting right. I, I feel as if that's, I'm so, so confident in that. 